Hey guys, Sherry here from the Flex Skim Crew. How's it going? Um, so this is going to be a masculine reading for November the 11th until the 18th. Um, so it's a special 11-11 day today, November the 11th. And um, I'm doing this reading at... 11.50 Okay, so I'm going to be doing a crystal ball reading for you guys Alright, so beginning with the masculines uh, Distant past, so it's going to be a 5x5 five five grid Distant past, recent past, present, near future And final outcome, four cornerstone cards Which represent the main energy of the reading And then one center card, which is the main message from the universe So first cornerstone card distant past so the page of cups so this is um, desiring to be in a you know to start a new loving relationship or a loving connection with somebody so this is messages of love in the twin, twin flame reading um, communication seemed to be very important for the masculine um, so this is also the, the muse who inspires artists to create Next is the King of Cups, cool synchronicity. They showed up in the past for the feminine side on the Twin Flame reading. So the masculine um, is being repre represented as somebody who um, has a heart chakra open. We've got two Cups cards. Um, this is somebody who loves very deeply. The love is pure, innocent. So the masculine, you're really feeling love deeply in your hearts. Next is crown chakra. Wow. So there's been an activation. You, you know, that that was a similar theme in the twin flame reading as well. There was this epiphany, this major realization that, that the masculine side had uh, in the past. Um, and a desire to feel love and be in a loving connection. So that's what he was moving towards. So crown chakra is I know, and it's a direct connection to source, to spirit, and to your, your soulmate. Next is the hangman. So this is seeing things from a different perspective. So again, a shift, a change in perspective occurred with the masculine. This card also represents letting go um, surrendering significant changes are happening and uh, so he he let things play out without any influence from him but what I'm feeling really strongly here is that change in perspective making that realization seeing the world from a different view cornerstone card six of swords so Again, similar theme for the masculine on the, in the Twin Flame reading. The masculine's moving to a calmer state of mind. So this is a decision to move away from negative thoughts, negative energy, negative people. Okay, so major realization there. So the recent past position is the Five of Cups. Mourning, heartache, pain, loss. So this is a, a closed off heart, a protective heart. Whoop. Wow, that card jumped across the room. <laughs> Jesus, okay, so um, jumping card, a lot of energy here. Emphasis on this sense of disconnect There you go again. This card showed up in the past position for the twin flame reading for the masculine. So this is realizing your entire life has just been a movie projected on the screen in your own mind. So you have the power to recreate it. So he's looking at this pain, this loss, um, doing a lot of you know self analysis as well as making decisions and having epiphanies um, so that he can change his perspective. 
Queen of Wands again, another synchronicity. So the Queen of Wands is the Queen of No Fucks Given, very charismatic, very passionate, a leader, center of attention. So the Queen of Wands represents the masculine's desires, passion. So he, this is what is being projected on the screen. You know, this woman who has lit him up from within. But again, there's this pain that's associated with it. Or he's seeing how the decisions that he's made in the past has led to pain and this connection with the Queen of Wands is brings him happiness and joy and excitement and freedom. Knight of Swords. So this is air energy, it's movement forward, very chaotic, very scattered. The feminine got this in her present position. Um, so this could mean communication that is very scattered or movement forward towards the feminine. So this is a champion, the rebel without a cause. So he fights for truth and justice. He also cuts away barriers. Six of Wands, success and victory. So being seen as a rock, rock star, um, being recognized for your accomplishments. People are proud of you, they're cheering you on. So, you know, I see this movement out of darkness and a disconnect and a desire to move forward, feeling like he's on the right path when he is connected with this energy, with the, you know, Queen of Wands. Um, so there was realization, a movement forward, and a desire to continue on that road. So the present position is the Ten of Swords. So this is an ending, ten, completion, the dark night of the soul, feeling stabbed in the back, left for dead. So the, this comes right below that Five of Cups, so it's an ending to feeling this way, heartbroken, betrayed. Destiny card again, Wheel of Fortune, completion of cycles, 10, 10, so 11. So, whoa. So, you know, this is good luck, good fortune, uh, completion of cycles from five to 10 years, and destiny knocking on his door. So, significant changes, um, and a sense of surrendering to destiny. You know, the masculine got the star card, which is heal in his present position. So you can definitely see that, that healing happening. So this next card is a main card message from the universe. Sun card. Wow. Beautiful. So the most positive card in the deck, the most positive major arcana. So this is a new beginning. Masculine energy, fire, illumination and uh, a return to innocence, it's freedom. So what I feel here is the universe saying, you know, that it's over, whatever this heartache is, is whatever this pain is, the cycle is completing and there's this abundance, this happiness flowing into your life and it has to do with this illumination, this conscious awareness and, you know, that involves the Queen of Wands you know, there's this deep desire and love for this person. And desire to move forward. Next card is the strength card. Again, this showed up in your near future. So this is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with a situation tr to transmute it into a caring environment. And also it is taming the beast within. So I can see, you know, the night is somebody who would have a very scattered, chaotic energy. You know, it's a reactive energy without much thought. It is um, like spontaneous decision, right? So I see here a shift in perspective that brought about 
a self-control and a feeling of compassion and, and love. Next is, wow, third eye chakra. So this was one of the cards that was coming in the future for the union energy, what the masculine was bringing into the union. So there's major illumination, there's major awareness and awakening that's happening on the masculine side. Higher levels of consciousness, the crown chakra and the third eye. Um, you can see that how the decision that he, that he made in the past to walk away from something that is negative, probably you know a karmic relationship, is bringing success and awareness into his life. It may have caused some pain and heartbreak, but it seems to me like he's leaving it behind. He's cutting those ties. And it's coming from a very gentle, um, truthful, karmic um, vibration, right? This is meant to be. When he turns within and he listens to his intuition, you can see that this um, connection here, you know, it seems to me that there was something that the masculine released in order to come into contact or union with the Queen of Wands, right? And so that transition is still happening. Okay, so the near future, Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is the Divine Feminine in the 3D. So this is somebody who is financially independent, enjoys the finer things in life, very grounded, very successful, also represents harvest, so from that release, there is this 3D connection that could manifest for some of the masculine. Um, seems to me like you're trying to gather strength and courage in the present moment in order to move forward. So this is what is being brought into your life. Next is Tower. So this is going to happen very suddenly. So this tears down any illusions, false constructions. Notice how it's below that judgment card, which is a grand awakening, as well as the destiny card changing. So you are making decisions from the heart. And so, like I said, it comes in like a bolt of lightning. Suddenly, it tears down illusions. Uh, false foundation so that new structures can be built upon it. So either this connection with this earth energy um, causes the tower or she brings in the tower. And the tower doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Um, it is a growth card, right? Okay, next. Seven of Pentacles. So the feminine had this in the past position for the twin flame. So again, a pregnant pause, gestation period, waiting for things to manifest in the 3D, <clears throat> sorry, in the 3D reality. Nine of Cups, very nice. This also showed up in a future position for the masculine. So wish granted. So this is manifestation of that thing that the feminine or masculine has been waiting for. And I say feminine because there's feminine energy here. It's like the feminine comes in out of the blue or the masculine comes towards her very quickly. Um, and from that, there is a sense of dreams coming true, of celebration. Nine is an arrival feeling like you've arrived at a place where you're just happy. You're doing the things that you love. You're enjoying life, celebrating life. Wow. Another chakra. Heart chakra. So this connection is really going to open up the masculine again. The nine of cups with the heart chakra. Whoa. And with the third eye chakra just below it, 
um, definite soulmate, twin flamey kind of vibration here. So either you decide to move forward towards this feminine in the 3D, the one that who's been waiting for you, and it brings you this ultimate love and sense of completion, or vice versa. All right, so final row, cornerstone card, hermit. So the hermit showed up as a final outcome for the twin flame reading for you masculines. Very cool synchronicity again. So this is somebody who disconnects from the 3D reality, seeks solitude and wisdom. But there was a sense that you were coming out of this solitude as a final outcome, and here you have it again. So it is a cornerstone card, which is a very important energy. You've had to disconnect from this new connection, this new beginning, in order to grow within caused you a great deal of heartache and pain. You're seeing that now. You're seeing how that disconnection brought you pain and the reconnection will bring you love. Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords is um, feeling like somebody is lying to you, not telling you the entire truth. So um, in the twin flame reading, there's a sense that, um, you know, for the message from the universe, there's a sense that somebody was speaking, talking about you behind your bath, back, not, you know, and it wasn't very nice um, communication or messages that were going out. So there's a sense that you wanted to clear those up. And see here, we have, we have that synchronicity once again. You're clearing the air. And... Wow, the chariot, movement forward. So this is movement towards your goals, your dreams, and it's taking control of your life. It's empowerment. Um, here I have a feminine who is waiting for the tide to turn, and she has a surfboard there, so she's not surfing. And then here we have a masculine surfing, so... <clears throat> with that shift, there's this definite empowerment and decision to move forward and pursue your dreams. But do it um, because it's making you happy, you know. So coming out of solitude is definitely what I feel. Next is the moon again. So you'll have to face your fears. But what I feel here strongly is illumination. Coming out of the darkness facing your fears, facing your shadow side. And final cornerstone card, Sacral Chakra, oh my God. So this was a final outcome for the, the masculine in the Twin Flame reading, except for it was much bigger. So very cool synchronicities happening here um, with the Hermit and the Sacral. So this is where your emotions are stored um, so you got one, you got four chakras activated. So what I feel is that you face your fears and you, you open yourself up emotionally. You know, three chakras in a row here, right? There's heart chakra, third eye chakra, then the sacral chakra, which is the lower vibration. But there's this deep fear of opening yourself up and facing your fears, right? And expressing your emotions, feeling those emotions, saying what's truly on your mind, you know, wearing your heart on your sleeve. Okay, so let me just pull one card from Miss Mermaids. And so again, this will be a final message from the universe. Seashell Princess. Oh my God my favorite card so what I feel here is the masculine is longing to feel love desires to feel that love and as a final outcome the masculine brought the 1111 card uh, in, you know, into the twin flame connection so you you want to feel that true love that pure love within yourself Okay, so she seashell princess, for a whimsy's sake I long to live down along the sea, a million miles of sand to walk alone, just you and me, the smell of sea salt in the air, sea-sprung breeze of weather fair, each other's thoughts our only care, a life of living free, 
perhaps a sunny sacred strand where skies are always blue, a million pearls strung in my hair to show your love is true. The summer sun's forever hot, I found the one I've always sought. Everything else now matters not as long as I'm with you. So a doughy-eyed princess adorned with the bounty of the sea daydreams to her heart's content. She is a romantic dreamer who listens intently to her own desires and has the passion to pursue them. So the meaning is to go after your heart's desire. There's a dream stirring in your heart that needs attention. You have felt drawn to follow and nurture it, but you have you are having trouble letting go of practical considerations and diving into the unknown. Know, however, however, that while many people reach for the stars, only the passionate actually climb up and grab them. Look inside yourself and rediscover the dream that has been buried under the trappings of day-to-day -day consideration and obligation. Reimagine the ideal life you have longed for in years past and write down in detail. Uh, put it down on paper and make a commitment to your younger self to strive and dream once again. Beautiful. Yes. Strive and dream once again and express your emotions. Open up, guys. All right. So I hope this helps. And um, thank you again for your love and support. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All right. Cheers.